Hi, I'm Zach Collins, professor of tuba and euphonium at Indiana University of Pennsylvania. I'm going to perform Blazevich 23 for you and give you a couple things that you can think about as you work on this etude. Blazevich 23, just like Blazevich 9, is about playing beautifully and playing smoothly. Finding the phrases in Blazevich 23 is a little bit more difficult than in uh, Blazevich number 9. You can hear from my performance the, the decisions that I made. I would encourage you to take breaths in logical places, but it's always most important to make your best sound. So if you're trying to make my phrases, and you're trying to go about two bars on a breath, and you can't do that and make a great sound, breathe more often, but always make a beautiful sound. Just as with uh, Blazevich number nine, I encouraged you to practice slurred scales, I would say the same thing for this etude. Practice lip slurs as well. You need to be able to make a smooth transition between pitches, and there are some difficult um, pitches that you have to transition between on this etude. I would encourage you to basically think of this etude as being in 3-4. It's written in 6-4, but it evenly divides every single measure into two 3-4 measures, and that might help you to keep time through the long notes, keep track of where you are in the meter. Constantly subdivide. When you're on a half note, when you're on a dotted quarter, make sure in your mind you are thinking eighth notes. That's going to make sure, that's going to help you make sure that your dotted quarters are three eighth notes long and that your half notes are four eighth notes long because it's going to be very tempting to, to shorten those as you go through. You'll notice at the beginning of this etude that you're given a dynamic instruction to play piano and then you really aren't given any other dynamic instructions for the rest of the etude. This does not mean that you should play every note piano. Consider this a blank canvas for you to be creative. Uh, good advice was given to me whenever I was a student that long notes are an opportunity to play boring notes, but they are also an, an opportunity to be expressive. So find every held note in here and do something with it. It needs to either grow or die away, but it shouldn't do this. It should go somewhere.